My name is Julian Joseph. I present Jazz Lineup on BBC Radio 3. It goes out now on Sunday nights at 11.30 for an hour and a half. Louis Armstrong. I started playing the piano probably from the age of five or six. Got home one day, um, walked into the front room, and there was a piano. Uh, went to my mum and said, Mum, there's a piano in the, in the living room. She goes, yep, and you're all going to learn. Duke Ellington. I, I always thought of jazz musicians as these amazing beings, almost like magicians, but in music. So I first started to, to decipher it by um, playing um, some very simple two-note chords in my left hand um, when I was around 10 and trying to play the melody to summertime. And when I achieved that, I got up from the piano, ran into the dining room, said, Mum, I can play jazz. I was wrong, but those were my first steps. Charlie Parker. Jazz lineup, to explain it, I guess to use the term a magazine show, we interview somebody and it could be somebody either international or somebody um, nationally. Also, we play current releases and we also play re-releases. We take all of that, mix it up and try and make it as interesting as possible for everybody. Charles Mingus. I'm always, if you come to my house or, or I'm, you know, good friends with you or not, I'll probably play you something on my iPod or get you to listen to something. So it's lovely to do that um, as, a, as a career as well, you know, to have a portion of, of how I uh, make my living um, doing that because it's something that I'm very passionate about. McCoy Tyner. I've had a chance to interview some of my absolute heroes. Herbie Hancock I've in interviewed many times. Um, and uh, Chick Corea, I've interviewed twice. Uh, McCoy Tyner, I've interviewed three times. But I think just in general, speaking to the musicians about the music, letting them tell their story, that's a highlight for me. That's what it really means to do this job. Herbie Hancock. When I was growing up, Herbie Hancock was, without a doubt, my favorite artist. To tell you the truth, I couldn't get enough. Um, I think as one develops as a musician, you can't just be into one person like that. So many other people have come in. Wayne Shorter. You know, if life life is like that, you want to take the best aspects of all of the people you admire, Keith Jarrett, and somehow absorb it into yourself and produce something, you know, uniquely you. John Coltrane or something that you like, you know, to represent you. Miles Davis. And that's, that's a legacy, man. Yeah.